Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS level physical geography course. Today we're going to stick with cold environments and look at the different types of flow. Compressing flow. This is a type of flow where a reduction in the gradient of the river causes no in Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS physical geography course. Today we're going to look at the different types of flow. The first type of flow is called compressing flow. And this happens when there's a reduction in the gradient of the valley. This causes the glacier to slow down. The ice thickens and compresses, and as a result, erosion is at its maximum. So we can see now that beforehand, the gradient of this valley was very steep. However, now the gradient has been reduced, and as a result, because it's not as steep, the glacier will not move at such a fast rate. Extending flow. This happens when the gradient of the valley actually increases and it makes the glacier speed up. So extending flow is the opposite to compressing flow. The glacier becomes thinner and erosion is at its minimum. So here we have the extending flow happening. Beforehand we had a gradient which was very steep, but now we have a very steep gradient and the glacier then moves much faster. Basal flow. Basal flow happens when increased pressure on the base of the glacier is going to cause the ice on the base to melt and form meltwater. The meltwater serves as a lubricant and it allows the glacier to travel down the actual valley at a faster rate. A surge occurs when this happens at a very fast rate. Internal deformation. This occurs in the upper zone of a glacier. The ice crystals inside the upper zone of the glacier orientate themselves and point in the direction of movement. They then slide past each other as they go down the valley. This is how crevasses develop, and crevasses are cracks in the glacier. Rotational flow. When the ice pivots around the point in the valley, we get rotational flow. The pivoting leads to increased pressure and erosion, and this can actually form landforms such as quarries, which we're going to look at later in the course. Creep. When stress builds up in a glacier, it enables the glacier to move and behave like a plastic. It flows over obstacles as a moldable material. Here are some questions on types of flow in glaciers. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get both of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video which will be on the glacial and weathering erosion in cold environments. As always, thanks so much for watching and be sure to visit the channel or the playlist for more information on AS Physical Geography. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next